welcome back to the channel. So spring is in full swing and I really wanted to do some spring DIYs to really uplift your environment for the spring season. So the first one I'm going to show you is the flower peace sign. You're going to need a foam board along with a cutting surface and an exacto knife, a pencil, and of course many many flowers. I have a bunch lying around from all the festivals so I decided to just use them. So you're also going to need a glue gun and I'm going to just go ahead and use this Tupperware top to draw out my circle. You can really do any shape you want. You can do your initials. It doesn't have to be a peace sign. So I am just grabbing a smaller Tupperware top, creating a circle inside and just measuring out the distance for the design on the inside of the peace sign. I want it to be precise. So I'm just making lines in the center and going out an inch. So this whole thing is going to be an inch or an inch and a half thick. So now I'm using my X-Acto knife to cut out the peace sign. And it may take a couple times. This board is pretty thick, so you're going to have to go over it. Your hand will be a little sore. Don't worry if it isn't perfect. It could be a jagged line since we're going to cover this with flowers anyways. So pop out the pieces you don't need and you now have your base shape. So I went ahead and attached some flowers from the fake stems. And now all I'm doing is just grabbing a hot glue gun and gluing on the flowers. So be careful when you do this because the flowers are very thin, the glue is very hot. You may want to wear gloves or just be very gentle when pressing the glue down. So try to cover the surface of the board, but try not to lose the shape of your peace sign because it could get lost in the flowers. So I like to surround myself with uplifting scents during the springtime, which is why I'm going to make a springtime spritzer. So I'm filling this bottle with one ounce of water, then I'm going to add some essential oils. So I'm using six drops of lavender. I'm also going to use citrus bliss, about four drops, and a couple drops of geranium. Geranium is very strong and it can give some people a headache, so you may want to go light on this. Remember every time you are going to spray, shake it up and enjoy the fresh spring scents. For the very last DIY, I decided to go ahead and paint some rocks to spruce up my backyard area and bring some color to it because I always seem to kill my plants and flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and use some acrylic paints just using the primary colors and black and white along with some paint brushes. And the first one I'm going to do is a ladybug. I wanted to do a couple insects that represent springtime to me. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint two half circles of red, leaving a space in the center. Grab some black paint and make some dots. Then I am going to grab some black paint and paint in the black in the center. For the little antennas of the ladybug, I am just using some white dotted lines. Next, I'm going to do a bumblebee, because what says springtime like a bumblebee? So I am painting on some yellow paint. I'm doing three stripes and a couple coats so that it's not transparent. Then I'm going to go ahead and paint the remainder of the stripes black. And I did do a couple coats over this, so you may have to do that as well. So I'm going to grab a thin brush and I'm going to grab some watered down black paint and just draw on the wings and then fill the inside of the wings with watered down white paint and adding a couple details of stripes on the wings so that it kind of looks translucent. Again, same thing with the antennas. I'm using a white dotted line. I also wanted to paint some fruits. So I thought that I would paint a strawberry because they are so cute and bright and I just love the colors. So I'm creating the leaves with some green paint and you can make this by combining blue and yellow paint. Now I'm going ahead and grabbing some red and just filling in the remainder of the rock. If you want to add a little bit of dimension, you can leave some of the paint that's underneath the leaves with one coat and it'll give it a darker, more 3D effect. So now I'm grabbing some white paint and just adding on the seeds. For my last and final fruit, I am making a kiwi. So I just went ahead and added a little bit of yellow and blue together, more yellow than blue. And I'm painting this whole rock this limey green color. 
I've went ahead and lightened up the color with some white and I'm doing the center of the kiwi and I'm grabbing a thin brush and making some brush strokes outward and inside that I am doing some seed details with some black paint and just going ahead around the edge of the rock with darker green paint to give it a little more dimension. And there you have it! You now have three DIYs to spruce up your springtime and really get you into the spring mood. What are some of your favorite things to do during the springtime? Leave a comment below and as always, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye!